Last year was the, the first Game Awards that I had worked on, and it was, uh, it was a crazy wild ride to pull that show together. And I think whenever you come out of a show like that, you start to reflect on what worked and what didn't work. And I think the first thing that we realized, I think, is that we wanted to have a better balance between the awards and the world premieres. I'm like everyone on the internet that I want to see tons of new content and upcoming games, uh, but I think we, we probably had a few too many world premieres last year, so we want to balance that out, and I think you'll see that a little bit more this year, that we're trying to be a little more even with um, how we treat the awards and the world premieres. The other thing that we learned last year was that music can really bring us together in such a powerful way. Uh, that performance between Imagine Dragons and Koji Kondo was uh, one of the highlights of my career to be involved in that. And all year we've been trying to figure out how can we let people from the music industry who love games celebrate them and express that love to the larger world. So we want to do that as well. And I think the other thing that we did learn honestly was that uh, the show felt a little long last year. We went uh, almost three hours because we had so much stuff in there. Um, and this year we're really going to try and, and create a much tighter show. It's going to be about two hours long. We're going to jam pack it with tons of great content. Important that we take what happened last year and try and adapt the feedback and build on it this year. So expect a show that still has the same amount of heart, um, you know, the same spectacular scale to it, probably even bigger than last year in many ways. But uh, we also want to, you know, learn uh, from our fans and try and build a better show. So uh, you know, everyone watching will be a judge of that but we definitely took a lot of the feedback in mind to try and build a better Game Awards for 2015.